Hey guys, Andy from Backbone Adventures, ATV and Jeep rental company in Estes Park, Colorado. I apologize about the power washer running. Seems like anytime I do a video, somebody's got an impact in their hand or power washer running right next to me. Never fails. At any rate, this video is about uh, programming the uh, ECM, FDM, all that stuff for uh, Can-Am products. So this is a 2023 Can-Am Maverick X3 DS Turbo. It was one of the units that came to us new, obviously, cages done, <clears throat> without the uh, FDM or ECM installed. So they sent us those separately, got them installed. On this particular one, though, uh, I had to use an ECM that was from another machine. So it was already programmed, but it was programmed improperly. So when I first hooked it up uh, to scan the BCI, this was not highlighted green. So I was basically deprogramming it when I ran the procedure. And now uh, I've re back in to program it, and this was highlighted green, so it should be good to go. I'm always watching these lights and make sure they don't go out. If they do, just keep hitting that start button. There it went. So I'm gonna keep doing this as it's doing its thing. Watching those that orange light up there out of the corner of my eye. There it went. And it's running through its processes here. Double check the VIN, and that VIN is correct. Now, I had to rewrite the VIN before I even did this part of the process. Before I did the uh, program in the ECM, I had to rewrite that VIN in there for that. So I clicked on the ECM, and it said that the VIN didn't match. So there was a section there where you just double click that, and I was able to rewrite that VIN. And then I could deprogram it through this procedure here, and then rescanned it and then came back over and went to uh, flash the ECM again double click on it and this was highlighted green so I knew I was good and I had the right model number in there now I have the right VIN number it's going to finish its process so far the lights are staying on I'm going to back out so you see everything is running through its steps eventually it's going to ask for the uh, engine code which I have written down I always have that ready to go before I start this process and always make sure your computer stays on don't let it go to sleep mode during any of this so here's my my engine code and I am nine six one zero four th nine nine six one 049 and hit right and again this ECM was just messed up this way from Sunday so <clears throat> hoping this does our okay so it's been updated it closed so we're looking good we're gonna hit close lights are staying on it says it's programmed it asked me to rescan so I'm gonna close all this and you see everything's still red here so now I'm going to rescan, and again I'm going to make sure these lights don't go out. Now, while it's doing this process, when you go to first hook up to an ECM and it won't read the VCI, and you go through a scanning process and it shows no vehicle connected, check your power and connections. First of all, I always put a jump box on the battery when it's brand new like this, so I make sure I have plenty of power, I make sure I have gas in it. And uh, what I'll do, if it won't connect to the VCI, a couple of different situations. If you have a good ECM, you'll be able to hit that start button. Everything will light up and stay lit up. But if it won't read that VCI, push on that brake, hold in your start button for like 30 seconds, and then let off the start button. Everything will click off. There won't be any delay. Everything will click off. And then, you know, power it back up again everything comes on and then scan your scan your uh, the machine again and it should connect to the VCI now in this particular one I had a screwed up ECM which may be the case for a lot of people because some people are buying these machines and having the ECMs uh, reflash for some mods and stuff if that's the case you need to deprogram that ECM like that one section won't be highlighted green deprogram it and then reprogram it, and it reprogram, reprogram it back to stock. So, and that's how you're gonna have to deal with it. 
Now, if you have that screwed up ECM like that, the power is not going to want to stay on. It's just going to start be clicking off where you're going through that scan process. Um, or it may not, like I say, it may not, the lights keep going off and it still won't connect to the VCI. So what you'll do if that light, those lights keep going off like that, hit that power button. You only probably got 10, 15 seconds for that light to stay, the lights will stay on. And so hit that power, lights are on, push on the brake, hold that start button in for 30 seconds, lights will stay on for you, and then let off and it'll all power down completely. And then you can power back up and scan it and just keep hitting that button. If you watch these lights, they go out, immediately hit that start button and it'll scan. And you see here, now I've gone through this process. My ECM is scanned, I'm all, I should be all good to go there. I'm gonna click on my ECM. I'm gonna go to health, see what we're looking at there. Settings up here. And here's where, we're, we'll, where we will enable this other stuff, um, like the turbo. So I rescan to, anytime you do a process, you should rescan. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable the turbo. going to go through that process and I'm going to rescan again and uh, get through all these processes here that always watching your lights and make sure this stuff doesn't shut off um, during the middle of a process this takes just a second and then I'll move on to something else here but um, you know we made sure our wheels were right the 30 inch tires on this machine okay so we're all good to there so we're gonna close that. So our turbo has been enabled now. We haven't done our gear position sensor yet. We're gonna do that. First, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna rescan right now. I'm just gonna go and do the gear position. I'm good to go on this machine now. This check engine light will go away once I do this stuff and rescan it. But after I do this gear position sensor, something about that, when you're doing it, when you neutral, reverse, and high are easy, no problems. Park and low are kind of difficult. You just when you put it in park to learn that, um, and you wrap, wrap it up to about 2,500 RPMs. Before you do, just wrap, shake the machine to make sure it engages in park, and then it'll learn no problem. Same thing for low range. Just put it in low, shake the machine, make sure it's engaged, and then learn. You won't have a, have an issue. So once I learn this gear position sensor, everything is good. My ECM is now programmed. I'm, I'm set there. And again, this was a screwed up ECM. And I see a lot of problems people are having with, like I said, people with ones that have been tuned. And you just have to deprogram it and reprogram it. Uh, and of course, that's a 17 minute process each, each way. I'm not gonna do the EVAP canister. We're in Colorado. My tires are there, everything's good except for my gear position. My TPS is learned, just my gear position sensor. And I haven't done the key yet either. That's the last step that I do. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this gear position sensor, uh, get that learned. Then I'm gonna rescan, and I'm still probably gonna have some fault codes over here, uh, some, some issues. <clears throat> so what I'll do at that point is I'll, I'll shut the machine down. I'll pull the key. Let the machine uh, shut completely down, put the key back in, or I'll just do that start button 30 seconds. Basically reboot the machine. Now scan again and most all this stuff will go away. Now I can go over to faults and see what I'm dealing with here. So I have an active fault in here right now, which is my gear position sensor, which I'm gonna take care of uh, as we were just talking about. Uh, but. Once that, once I do that, that'll go away. Sometimes you get these machines and they'll have all kind, even you know, brand new like this. They'll have a bunch of occurred faults, some active faults. You can clear, just erase the occurred faults. But with, if you reboot the machine and then rescan it, those active faults should turn into occurred faults. This is on a brand new machine. A used machine, those active faults might be actual problems that need to be addressed. But I'm talking about programming a new machine, so. Um, at any rate, I'm going to go in there and do that. Oh, one other thing real quick. Keys. A lot of people in the 2023 machines are getting keys that don't work. So you can use a key from a 2021 uh, uh, machine of the same machine. 
and you can program that key. And when you program keys, go over here to keys. So I have here, I haven't programmed my key yet. To do it, what I do is I hit, I highlight, reprogram, read it, and this key is good. I didn't get an error up there. If I had an error, I'd use a key from a 2021 and I'd program it that way. And to program a key, just make sure it's highlight, highlighted like that, hit erase, hit erase key right here, and then highlight it again, because it'll say not programmed. Highlight the not programmed thing at top, hit add, and then it's gonna ask you, it's gonna start doing this thing, it's gonna ask you to pull the key, put it back in. Once it does that, it's gonna be programmed. It'll say normal, or if you select performance, it'll be a performance key. Uh, I like to actually, once that key is programmed, highlight it, hit read again over here, and this will show up normal or programmed key. So that's how you do it with the, the key issues that are going on currently out there. So again, I'm going to just go in. I'm going to stop this video now. I don't think there's anything else you really need to know. I'm going to do the gear sensor, sensor learn and go through all that. And then all this stuff will all turn green once I reboot the machine. So I hope I've covered everything here. Um, uh, this uh, We've done a ton of these machines and just kind of gone through some of the different problems we've run into and how we've solved them and this was probably the worst one right here with this screwy ECM so I hope this information helps if you guys have any questions or comments you can put them down below I'll answer if I can uh, but I think this should probably cover you this is again for programming a brand new machine and that's about all I can think of so with that you guys have a good day Okay, so here I am, uh, I've done everything, gear position sensor, keys programmed, all that stuff. And um, I still have some fault stuff here. So what I've done after it's all programmed like that, you can't do the push on the brake and hold the button to power it all down. So you just pull the key and the lights will shut down up here. You wait about 45 seconds or a minute and it'll all shut down. And then I'll hit that start button again and go ahead and scan it and this stuff should all go away but we're gonna verify i'm still waiting for this machine to shut down um, can't really think of anything else to talk about while i'm waiting for this damn thing to shut down but that's what i'm gonna do just rescan once it does i'm obviously gonna hit this start button get the lights turned back on um, maybe i'll try and force the issue here and yeah, we'll go ahead and just try that. We'll just force the issue here, reconnect, scan again. Now that we have a key going, everything else has been done. We're going to scan. And uh, again, just remember if it doesn't gets into this operation in progress and it's not, uh, it doesn't get into where it's scanning the FDM and the cluster and all that stuff. Like you see it's here. Now I'm scanning the ECM. That means it's reading the VCI. If it's not reading the VCI, that's when you push on the brake, hold that start button in <clears throat> for 30 seconds, and power it all down completely, and then try it again. Turn the lights back on, scan again, and it should read the VCI. You want to make sure that your can light is lit up, everything's hooked up. Like I say, have some. make sure you have proper battery power, and that your <clears throat> FDM and your ECM are connected properly. So this should only take uh, another second here, a few more seconds, it'll, it'll pop on. Again, I'm always making sure that my lights stay on here. Um, so that's kind of in tandem with uh, whatever uh, relays are switching off in the in the back here. So good time to take lunch while you're doing this. <laughs> if you're if you take lunch and work at the same time like I do, but this thing should be good to go here in a minute. I don't have any problems up on my dash there with lights. Here we go, and I still have some stuff here. So. What we're going to do is go into faults and see what we have. So we have some occurreds. We're going to go ahead and erase those occurred faults. And they were all actually occurred. Those other ones were prior actives. So they all went away. Sometimes those actives don't go away and you got to rescan. But I would just done a scan. So um, yeah, so they all went away. Everything turned green good to go again this is a really screwed up machine from uh, 
an ECM that had all kinds of issues. So if you have one of those ECMs that comes into your shop that somebody's programmed or it's been screwed up, just deprogram it. Click on the ECM. <clears throat> Go over to summary. Click on your health. You're going to see right there, it says ECM, you know, isn't programmed or even it is programmed. Um, double click on it. If it says programmed, double click on it. You go through that, proceed. It'll deprogram it. And then you, you rescan it after that's all done, after that 17 minute process. Rescan it. And then you can go back in to the same process ECM, summary, health. Double click it. And then that model number code up there should be highlighted green just make sure it's the right model number <clears throat> and then go through hit proceed and go through that 17 minute process again and it's rescan reprogramming it back to factory um, so you'll be good to go from there just again always make sure your lights down just keep hitting that button don't push and hold the button in that doesn't work um, just keep hitting that button uh, lights go out immediately hit the button that's all you have to do Hope all the information helps. You guys have a good day.